Greetings, my name is Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. It's why is my render distance so high? It's fucking 6 a.m. I'm tired as hell, and I can't sleep. Let's play some Minecraft, why don't we? Last time I got the healing axe, so I no longer have to worry about food. Mostly. Uh, what do I do now? Uh, there was something I wanted to do. Oh yeah, there's some quests I should complete. Right. Paranormalist. That's just the whole thing. I need uh, iron to start his quest line. Or... Yeah, Dr. Sprouse. Quantum physicist by degree, but I do a little bit of everything. All of the time. I try to explain what others consider unexplainable. There's so much science... There's so much science has yet to discover. Okay, I was a bit confused there. Uh, about whether science was the thing that has yet to be discovered, or if science was the thing that has yet to be discovered. Anyways. Uh, for example, nobody will dispute the existence or efficacy of the enchantment table, but, it, but science has yet to explain it. I believe the mechanism behind the enchantment table is a strange energy I've measured, and I'm measuring the same ener strange energy all across the planet. I am interested in learning what science hasn't dared revealed. Hasn't dared reveal. Perhaps we can learn together. Sure, why not? Ah, uh, yes, the cure. I'd uh, make a reference to the cure uh, to the band, but I can't actually think of any other songs right now. Finding pointless flowers. We see you found a new flower species. We named nicknamed it the mystical flower because it emits little flecks of light. It comes in sixteen subspecies, one of each color. We're hoping these would have an adverse effect on the biomass, like the ethereal blooms, but sadly these blooms appear to be useless. Yes, because they don't have an immediate effect on our primary goal, therefore they have zero use whatsoever. They weren't no further study. You fucking donkey! Though Dr. Frost seems to disagree. I don't know what I expected. Oh yeah, there's the uh, language samples. Helpful to learn the alien language. Luckily, the cheated came equipped with an algorithm to, to learn new languages from context, but to do so, it needs samples of the language in question. She provided us with samples of the language. We got some out of the written materials. Yeah, all this stuff. Got to turn all this stuff in. There we go. <laughs> and now we can get translation devices for 50 language samples. Nearly there, only a few more written example materials and the jaded will produce a translation device. Probably be useful later. Only need one fictionist for one about six of them. Yeah, uh <laughs> I don't know how the fuck that works really. Like, surely, if you can learn enough of the language to create a translation device, why is it single use? That doesn't really make much sense, but alright. Alright, I got five of them. Now, where is that... thingamajig... Here we go. Voila! Now we can potentially start on Batania, but to do that we need to get those flowers first. Just me as that moon moving faster than normal. Whatever. Atomic slime autopsy. These seem to be very similar to the terrestrial slimes. They move, attack, and propagate in the same way. The only difference is that the larger ones can shoot the smaller ones out of their mouth. This behavior has been observed to fire slime through walls, so watch out. Also interesting is their generation. Sometimes the biomass, rather than taking over and controlling an animal, will simply collapse it into bioorganic gunk, creating a slime. You'll never see a tainted bat, for example. They turn it into slimes instead. Translation. Uh, the people that made Domcraft were too lazy to create tainted versions of all the animals, so they just made this instead. 
Ah yes, a tentacle autopsy. That tentacle thing is strange. By waving around, it summons smaller tentacles under the ground to erupt under your feet and attack you. You can only summon these smaller tentacles while you are standing on the purple biomass. However, so if you find some way to not stand on it, you're completely safe. Good luck with that. Let's see, tank tentacle autopsy. These tiny tentacles are pretty useless. They die on their own after a while, drop nothing useful, and can't move to attack you. It's probably best to leave them alone and kill the bigger ones instead. The stomach of this sheep seems to have been converted into a biofactory producing more of the purple gunk. Every time it stops to eat grass, it vomits more of the gunk onto the ground. Keep these sheep away from any areas you've cleaned. These chickens, in addition to being incredibly fast, seem to have some tactical sense. Unlike zombies or other common foes, they don't just attack you. They seem to know to dart in and out, making them difficult to hit. Avoid them if you can. Alright. This... This pig... Appears to be dead. Okay, yes, I know you killed it, but it was dead long before that. At least several weeks by my estimates. That purple biomass was... Animating it. Creepy. Alright. Alright, speaking of all that stuff, I, uh... Well, first of all, I want to make a well, with sword blade, not that it matters hugely. But also, I should get started on making that, uh, uh making some ranged weaponry. A short bow can do it for now. Maybe. Maybe I could try. I was about to say, maybe I could try and, like, set up the smeltery and make some crossbow. Or whatever, but God help me. <laughs> Fucking crossbow bolts are a nightmare to make. I mean, I consider myself something of an expert on them, relatively speaking, and even I hardly even know where to begin. I don't know why they decided to make it so damn far. Whatever. I'll just make a regular short bow. No. Oh, that reminds me. Should be grabbing saplings. Ooh, dark wood. That would have been useful, but a oh, while ago, then I wouldn't have had to go through the, all those lengths to get fucking thomium. Heh. <laughs> Never gonna have to do that again. That's nice. <sighs> Alright. Let's see what it is. Just two bow limbs. Alright. Oh, right. Got bow limbs are one and a half blocks. Ugh. All right. I need fletching and bowstring. Bowstring, bowstring. All right. Just a uh, string, I guess. Crap, I don't have any string. Wait, I know where I can get some. Cotton can be made into string. All right. Now just fletching. Do I have any feathers whatsoever? Or anything? Uh, I could make a leaf fletching, I guess. Massive reduction to accuracy, though. I'd love some slime leaf, but for that I need, well, slime sampling. Shit. Well, at least I can make the 
bow. Yay, a bow without arrows. Just what I always wanted. So yeah, I should really get around to making that damn smeltery. Ooh. Sweet. Some more iron ore. That vein miner doesn't actually work properly on this stupid underground biomes crap. God, I hate underground biomes so much. Where do I put the smeltery? I don't fucking know. Here. Why not? Alright, but first, let's see, I've got some gravel. Uh, I always, I've got some gravel, I've got some clay. i just go get some sand. One of the other benefits of basing in base here. much of this gr of this grout that we actually need so I'm just gonna make a bunch of it and now comes the arduous task of smelting it all into bricks I'm gonna get some more stone from more furnaces you lucky bastards on your on YouTube won't have to actually sit through all of this crap you know what? Well, I while I'm doing this, I should really. Oh, what was I gonna say? I don't remember now. All right. Is that gonna be hanging around the base? Well, I might as well start setting up some ethereal blooms now. Uh... There we go, uh, full, well, mostly a circuit of this. Hang on. Oh, damn it, I might have. Yeah, whatever. I might have miscalculated. I definitely miscalculated a bit, but whatever. It's just a slight inconvenience. But whatever. I've got a full thingamajig around my base to slowly purify it. And I do mean slowly. And I just realized I don't actually have any coal. Hang on. Gotta throw in some coal this way. I need, what is it, eight? No. Sixteen. I'm 
I'm sure that was just a, com uh, a nearly complete black screen. Hey, when they just don't let you shift click it in there because of some stupid bullshit, like, oh, dumbass recipe change or something stupid like that. Willow sapling, my favorite. <sighs> this is gonna take a while. Wait, what am I doing? I'm an idiot! Why am I bothering with this? There's a perfectly good source for a smeltery, like right nearby! Look, it's perfect good spell to be right here. All I gotta do is deal with the natives. Huh. I could have sworn I had vein miners set to for its seed bricks. There we go. Hi. It's just standing there menacingly. Oh, man. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. The dastardly smeltery thief strikes again. Now we have a spell tree, but now we need, you know, lava. Get that. We need to cook a couple of these with iron. Make a twix. Uh, make a bucket, and of course we need some, you know, lava. But I know where I can get some. I've always wondered, you know, you've ever heard about the yell uh, water MLGs? I've never actually tried that with with lava before. I don't know if that would work. I doubt it. Otherwise, more people would be doing that in the nether instead of a fun, really, the other ways. But maybe. Here we go. Finally gonna be rolling in iron. And boom. A casual 166 ingots. And that's not even all of them. That's gonna take a while to get all of this. I must change on tainted soil. That's not supposed to happen. Birch! I spit on birch. I mean, it's no acacia, but I still don't like it. Now that we've got a smeltery set up, we should probably start going down and mining some ores. Now, we could set up a hammer and start, you know, shaft mining, or whatever it was called. But, I know a quicker way. See this? So here is this whole crap. And well, remember when I mentioned the 
vast mine shafts spanning the whole fucking map. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, charge quartz. Of course, they're, you know, obviously very tainted. But, as you can see, you know, parts of them are losing the taint and all that. Because of me purifying the other areas. Because the stuff purifies based on a column. But it's still quite limited at the moment. Thus, so am I. So if I can find just a little bit of gold, that'd be a big help. By a little bit, I mean maybe a couple of stacks if I can. <laughs> Ooh. Platinum! Oh yeah! Star Wars, baby! Oh sure, the vein miner works for, plat oh, for basalt platinum ore, but not basalt iron ore. Bloody fascist. Getting more, uh, getting loads of iron, but I don't really need more iron at the moment, so. Not exactly an enormous help. Could use like any other ore. Ooh, redstone. I mean. <laughs> That's also not that not extremely helpful because I can get redstone renewably via bloodwood, but hey, bloodwood is annoying to farm, so I should really get rid of this damn water. There we go. Bloody hell. Oh, more platinum. What are the odds of that? Ooh, more aluminum. What are the odds of that? Oops. What is this? Ferris or Ooh, nickel. Potash! It is of course derived from potash. Which is its own story. Why did I bring the ethereal blooms with me? Alright, I guess I'm dead tired. Down and down into the deep. Ooh, what's this? Mm. Oh, diamond ore. Just casually diamond. Uh, I'd rather come back for this when I have fortune, but meh. Unlikely to find it again.
my faith might be worth it. Mm -hmm. Worth the trouble. <laughs> oh, of course there's a tentacle. Why wouldn't there be a tentacle in exactly the direction I'm going? Hi, random witch. Finally. Nice throw. I think you have bigger problems at the moment than me, witch. Okay then. It can be a big problem if you want me to be. What? Is there a fucking spawner or something? Okay, time to leave. Got some gold. Very little gold, but some. Ooh, tin. Let's see. All right, all but copper. Wow, what are the odds? What the fuck does that sound? Oh, of course. Goddamn cave spider. What? What the fuck are these sounds? Oh, bliss. Everyone's favorite game mode. Why does yellow right ore have to look exactly like gold? Near enough is makes no difference. Sandstone. Aha! Yay, water, my favorite. I still don't understand why they decided to make it so that you go like a million times slower if there's any blocks next to you while you're swimming. It's so weird. You'd think that would make it easier to go up, but no. That would be nice. They can't be nice. Ever. At any point in time. What the fuck is this? Where's my... Okay. Hang on. Okay, so we have gold. Four gold ore, which means eight gold ingots, which... Yeah. Which, we, oh, which means, yeah, four cast. First of all, of course, I can... Let's see, let's play into a brick to make a ingot cast. Wait, shit. I forgot. Engmalin is a thing. For some stupid godforsaken reason, they decided to make it so that iron and gold can alloy into an utterly useless metal called Engmelon that does that adds nothing all and all it serves to do is fuck you over if you ever dare to mix those two in shelter on accident. One eternity later. Alright, now we got some gold. And finally make cast. Right. There we go. All right. All right. Now I can make some other basic casts, like the pickaxe head, and um, what else? Oh, um, what? Oh, you 
gotta be kidding me. Apparently, Bloodwood pickaxe heads specifically just don't work for making cast from, I guess. There we go. Adiel. And I'll hold off on the rest for now, I suppose. I come to regret that if I accidentally make a mainland or something. Alright, I think that's about all I'm gonna you're gonna get from me today. I spent uh, uh, been like an hour or something just fucking around dead to the world. Well, I got some stuff done. And that's what matters, I guess. Next time, I should probably start getting into the actual magic stuff. So the th specifically Thomcraft and Blood Magic, since Britannia is a bit it's still a bit inconvenient. Anyways. Some of the stuff that I need for Britannia is on the floating islands, and those are pain in the ass to get without to get to without a certain thing from blood magic, which I could actually get. Which if I had some fucking feathers, I could probably get like in in like two minutes. But it's just a rare resource, I suppose. Painfully rare. <laughs> Tiger wood. No. Chucking out these samples. Probably get copies of them anyways. Yeah. You cannot say me. I am the heart of the wood. Anyways. My name is Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. <laughs> and remember, something. So long, suckers.